Hallelujah. Let's go into the Lord, the, the word of the Lord this morning. And the word of the Lord comes to us from Psalm 105 and verse 19. A time of testing is what we're going to be talking about today. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The word of the Lord tested him until the time came to fulfill his dreams. Joseph we're talking about this morning. The Lord tested Joseph's character. He tested him. He tested him. Hallelujah. A time of testing. You see, God might not respond in the exact way or at the exact time that we want him to. But his timing is always perfect. You better know that. You, you, you better understand that. His timing is always perfect. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. That's what the Bible says in Psalm 84 and verse 11. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. It's difficult to, 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 to watch God blessing others while we're faced and, and, and we're forced, a matter of fact, we're forced to wait. Just imagine, man. You're watching everybody around you getting blessed. And you are forced to wait. The Bible tells us until the time came to fulfill his dreams. The Lord tested Joseph's character. Yeah, he tested him. God's plan was for Joseph to live in a palace. But for years he lived in a prison. Are you hearing me this morning? The plan that God had for Joseph was for him to live in a palace. But for years he lived in a prison charged with crimes he never even committed. Listen to me, somebody. He was charged with crimes he never, never done. But it was there that he met a butler who had the ear of a pharaoh. And through his connection, Joseph was promoted to the number one, number two spot, sorry, the number two spot in Egypt. He was promoted as general. He was promoted. Listen to me. When we walk, when we walk with God, our opportunities are regulated by his plan not by someone else's actions and preparation always comes before promotion hallelujah i don't know who this word is for this morning preparation always comes before promotion when elijah called down the fire from heaven on mount carmel everybody admired and applauded him everybody but then he spent years living through a famine and the only friend, the only friend he had was a, 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 an impoverished widow. Together, they had to trust God for every single meal. Every meal they had, they had to trust God. That's when Elijah learned an important lesson about humility. He learned a lesson about divine guidance. He learned a lesson about trusting God in times of need. Things that don't necessarily make sense to our human minds at first, my brothers and sisters. When God is going to build something great, he takes time to lay a, a strong foundation. Listen to me. When God is about to do something great, listen. He takes time to lay a strong foundation. Jesus grew in favor with God and man. That's what Luke 2 and verse 52 says. 
If you're in a season of waiting, my brothers and sisters, if you're in a season of waiting at the moment, embrace it. Embrace that season this morning. Embrace that season right now. If you're in a season of waiting, embrace the moment. Because God's doing important work within you. If he has told if he told you to wait, embrace it. Embrace it, my brothers and sisters, my friends, embrace it. Because God is doing an important work within you. Allow yourself time to grow and let him build a firm foundation under you this morning, under you today, that will sustain you and it will strengthen you in years to come. So this morning, I, I, I implore you this morning, try to turn times of waiting into times of praise and joy. Don't just sit there and, and mope because you've been waiting too long for this. But use the time to praise the Lord and use the time in joy. Change your circumstance and your situation. Change it around. And just start giving God praise and just start, start walking around with a smile on your face. Walk around being happy. Embrace the moment, my brother. Embrace the moment, my sister. And start praising God during the time of waiting. Whenever you're waiting for a bus. <laughs> when you're waiting for a bus or the train. Or you're in a checkout queue. Waiting for the microwave to ping. To spend the time praying and praising God. Let the kids wonder if you're crazy. You're waiting for the microwave to finish warming up your stuff. And you're just praising God. Let your husband wonder. Let your wife wonder if you're losing your mind. Just stop praising God. Use a moment to acknowledge that I'm waiting for God to do something in my life. And until this microwave ping, until this bus reach, until the train gets here, I'm just going to worship God. I'm just going to worship him with all my heart. I'm just going to worship him with everything that I have. And even on today, as we wait for the blessings of the Lord, even during this program this morning, let us wait for him in worship. Let us wait for him in praise. Let us wait for him with joy in our hearts. Because he's going to bless us today. I know that without a doubt, God is going to bless us today. He's going to bless you right now. Some of you are going through that waiting period. And God is saying to you, listen, just worship me and you will receive your blessing. Just worship me and you will receive whatever you're waiting for is what he's saying to us this morning. So until the time that his word come to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. Until the time came for all my dreams to be fulfilled the Lord tested me until the time came for my waiting period to be over the Lord tested me he's testing you right now my brothers and sisters and your waiting period is almost over. Your waiting period is almost done. It's almost over. So start worshiping him. Start praising him. Start lifting him up. Exalt him. Extol him. Glorify him. Magnify him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship. Worship him. 
We worship you this morning, God, and we praise your holy name, and we magnify you, we extol you, we lift you up, we glorify your name, Lord God. We make you big in our space, Lord God. We ask you to invade our space this morning, Lord God. Turn things around and turn it upside down. Shake it up a little bit, Lord God, and we're depending on you this morning because we know we are in your presence. We are in your presence. We are in your presence. And so we magnify you and worship you, Lord. We've been waiting. We've been waiting patiently, oh God. And right now, right now, right now, we can feel, we can feel your presence that our waiting period is over. We can feel it in our, the anointing that you've given to us that our waiting period is coming to a close. So we want to thank you. We want to start giving you thanks and praise now, Lord. Come on, bless him. Bless him, somebody. Worship him. Worship him right now where you are. Seize the moment and worship the Lord. He deserves the glory. He deserves the praise. He deserves the honor. Praise him. Worship him. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us be glad. He said, praise him. It's a time of praise and joy. So praise him with joy and gladness this morning. Praise him with joy and gladness this morning. Because you deserve the glory. And you deserve the honor of God. And during this time of testing, we just want to worship you. And praise your holy name. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.